Ladies and gentlemen, Kevin McCarthy is missing about 14, uh, the, he's missing the support of about 14 Republicans, okay? Nine, eight to nine Republicans wrote a letter, according to this article, saying they will not support McCarthy. And Andy Biggs, along with four or five others, We'll get to the exact number. I actually read the article right now, and I forgot the exact number. It's about 14. So he needs the support of 14 Republicans, and he's not going to get that support. This could be dicey because you don't want – there is theoretically the possibility of a never-Trump Republican or Democrat becoming Speaker of the House. Although that is very, very unlikely – that won't happen, okay? What'll happen is McCarthy will cave and acquiesce to pretty much every demand by Matt Gates and Andy Biggs. That will happen, and he'll very likely become Speaker of the House, but you'll have Matt Gates as essentially de facto Speaker, according to Newsweek. So you're not going to get a Mitch McConnell. But this is really interesting. It's going to be the antithesis, or I should say, you will. it'll be nothing close to Mitch McConnell at all. You might say, well, he's establishment. Yeah, but with five votes, and I explained this uh, with my segment, no confidence. Uh, Republicans who state that they have no confidence in McCarthy could depose him and replace him with Andy Biggs or Matt Gates or any other Republican that is, you know, uh, that has a better vision for the political party. But here, House conservatives say McCarthy's effort to address demands insufficient ahead of Speaker. So this is going to be on Wednesday, I believe. Or no, Tuesday. Tuesday is, Tuesday is the day that Republicans decide on a Speaker of the House, January 3rd. Now, if you look... In a Sunday letter obtained by The Hill, Representatives Scott Perry and Chip Roy led seven other hardline Republican House members and members in calling McCarthy's response to their demands insufficient. Okay, so you have seven, uh, led seven others. So you have nine Republicans there that aren't voting for McCarthy. And then you have McCarthy will need 218. Nine Republicans, only one opponent, Biggs, has mounted an official challenge against the five. Uh, the GOP leader, okay, in addition to Biggs, at least four Republicans have said they will vote against McCarthy. None of the five lawmakers are signatories in Sunday's letter. Okay, so five Republicans, with including Biggs, And nine Republicans on that letter. So you have 14 Republicans who will not side with, who will not side with Kevin McCarthy. This is very interesting. And it's coming down to the wire. Tomorrow, it's likely that it might, well, it might take more than one vote, which would be very interesting. <laughs> but it's likely, ladies and gentlemen, that McCarthy has to acquiesce. It takes more than one attempt at getting him Speaker of the House. And when he ever does get Speaker of the House, Matt Gates is a shadow or de facto Speaker. Hit subscribe to this channel right now, ladies and gentlemen. I'm very happy and honored that there are new subscribers to this channel and that people enjoy my analysis or coverage of what's taking place with the Speaker of the House battle every morning at 8 a.m. and 11 a.m. Pacific time on this channel, H.A. Goodman, forever. I'll have two videos so there's a schedule now on this channel. It's, it's taking me years. We're over 200,000 subs. I had no schedule, and I just would upload throughout the day at all different times. But you can expect 8 a.m. and 11 a.m. every single day, every single morning on this channel. 
And so I'd be honored to share the mornings with you, your ride to work, breakfast. I would just be privileged and blessed to share the morning with you 8 a.m. and 11 a.m. every day on this channel. And also, H.A. Goodman's other channel, I have segments at 9 a.m. So I had a segment at 9 a.m. today and 12 p.m. So I'll have a segment, a video on H.A. Goodman's other channel in one hour. Hit subscribe, become a member of, um, become a member and also... The super thanks is below to my Patreon. Thank you so very, very much. Your support is greatly appreciated. And to my new Patreons, I cannot thank you enough. You can go to hagoodman.com to read my writing in The Hill, The Huffington Post, Salon, The Jerusalem Post, The Federalist, other publications, and you could be part of a newsletter there. Just put your email address or give your email address there. And ladies and gentlemen, this is very interesting because impeachment is going to take place. So you will have impeachment. That will take place. That's a certainty. Because we're talking about felonies. With Trump, they say that he's a criminal, but they can't prove anything. They've obsessed over criminality with Trump, but they cannot prove one thing in a court of law. You could definitely prove uh, that, that Joe and Hunter broke legal statutes pertaining to graft and possible bribery. You can prove that using the emails. See, emails are the greatest enemy of the Democratic Party, apparently. They showed that Bernie Sanders was, of course, cheated by his own political party in a fair and neutral primary. Then Democrats in media and wonderful intel officials said, well, another country wanted you to know that Bernie was railroaded. And now we fast forward, and I said in my last segment, we are in the movie Tron. We are in a video game called 2016. We have not stopped playing that. Vi We're actually inside the video game. Okay, you can use different movies, uh, Matrix, all that, but I think it's Tron. I think the video game that we're in is 2016, and we are uh, unfortunately all characters in a video game. At least the 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 political landscape is within that you know, 1980s game console, that giant game console. But you look, ladies and gentlemen, people are saying that, well, you know what? You can't have McCarthy because of he's just like McConnell. I agree with that to a great extent. If he didn't have to give these concessions, if Matt Gates wasn't essentially a de facto speaker, and if he didn't have about 14 Republicans, you're missing 14 Republicans. So that's enough to actually wreak havoc you could possibly get if they just decide not to vote for mccarthy it is possible with 14 or more because there are there are 20 republicans that actually don't want him so you could possibly get an attempt by democrats to get these some well no some republicans i asked some some blue state republicans on their side i don't think that would work at all but there could be an attempt. So Trump is right. Marjorie Taylor Greene is right. Jim Jordan is right about you don't want to play around. If it goes to a second vote, there has to be a concession. Like not, no, there has to be more concessions made by McCarthy <laughs> because <laughs> this is a game of chicken and you have a situation where you don't want it to go to a third vote. I, I don't know. I don't know what would happen if it, if it went to a third vote. I'm not sure it's going to even go to a second vote, but he needs to secure this his first time around um, to prevent any problems. So you don't want a situation where, like I said, a Democrat or a never Trumper becomes Speaker of the House, which is what Trump and Marjorie Taylor Greene are warning about. I think that at the end of the day, you're going to get impeachment. You're going to get um, the House of Representatives, Republicans. You, they're going to impeach Biden. They won't remove him in the Senate. They couldn't. You would need 66 senators, I believe, or 67 senators to remove a president. But you will get impeachment. You could possibly get two impeachments. If, you, if, you, if they investigated FTX funding with a billion dollars possibly, according to Elon Musk, I mean, that is the FTX issue with the with the crypto exchange that, that is completely, was basically a money laundering scheme along with a hedge fund, a crypto hedge fund. And I talked about on H.A. Goodman's other channel yesterday, 
how Binance, Coinbase, and Tether, I think, will all go under. I think that Bitcoin's going to get to below 10,000. And I think, ladies and gentlemen, that um, the economy is going to continue to decline, unfortunately. I think foreign policy is going to continue to be more unpredictable. I mean, Biden's foreign policy is a catastrophe, but the world is going to become more unpredictable, unfortunately. We need Trump Republicans in the House of Representatives to take a strong stand to impeach Biden because he did almost certainly commit felonies. Unlike Trump, who didn't commit a crime, yet we've seen government agencies side or join forces with the old Twitter regime to silence the truth about Democrats because the truth about Democrats leads you to vote for Trump. The truth about Democrats pushes people to vote for Trump. Yeah, I wonder how that works. Why would that work? Have you heard, I used to, I remember hearing when I was writing years back, getting published in the Huffington Post and my uh, writing was read by hundreds of thousands of people. Each article, I remember people saying, you're helping Trump. What, the truth about the Democratic Party's helping Trump? Well, gee, why would that happen? Hmm. Why would that happen? Because once you know the truth, once you know that Democrats silence and censor and condemn and judge and pontificate and lie to their voters and side with militant um, interventionists within the political arena, the Lincoln Project, who want never-ending wars and counterinsurgency conflicts, then you say, you know what? Gee, Trump might have a unique personality. You might not even like his personality, but he's a lot better than Democrats. People who truly understand politics, not ideologues. I'm talking about people who have no vested interest or no allegiance. I don't have any allegiance to a political party. And I understand politics. If you have no allegiance to a political party and you understand politics, you're siding with Trump more often than not. You're not siding with the Democratic Party. Or maybe you're voting Libertarian, but then again, you're that that's a political party that's it's going against its own interests by electing Democrats who do the antithesis of what Libertarians want. At least Trump Trump is the most libertarian president. Anyway, that's a whole other story. Give me your thoughts below. Hit, especially in terms of foreign policy, hit subscribe right now. I'll have a live stream this evening. Go to H.A. Goodman's other channel right now. And right, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, every day, 8 and 11 and 9 and 12 on this channel. Thank you so very, very much.